What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Welcome to another gig log. First off, before we get started, I just want to thank all of you guys for subscribing. We finally broke that 5,000 subscriber mark, so huge milestone for me. Uh, it's taken a couple years to get there, but hopefully that just means rocket ship to the top from here on out. But anyway, uh, I'm pretty far behind on gig logs. I've got like four films that I have not edited yet, so I'm going to tell you guys right now that this weekend is a busy one. So what I want to do is make this a double. So this is going to be a double. we got a Friday tonight in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm coming home, getting up super early, driving across the state three hours to Port Huron to do a wedding over there. I am staying in a hotel that night. And then Sunday, we're coming back. We got a photo booth event. Not sure if I'll film any of that, but I might. But we're definitely going to do a combo of Friday and Saturday. So um, just forewarning, this might be a little longer than traditionally, but that's why. Two gig logs, one video. So we're all packed up, ready to rock, getting ready to leave the house here in about 30 minutes to uh, head up to Grand Rapids to get set up. We're at the High Five tonight, partying with Morgan, or sorry, partying with Tegan and Matt. Moran, that's who they are. Uh, messed that name all up. But yeah, we're partying with them tonight. So let me jump in the truck, head on up, and uh, I don't know, catch up with you guys when we get there. Loading there is a little interesting. There's a loading dock and stuff like that. We had to have a time slot, so I got to be there right at 2 o'clock to load in. So that's something that's a little different for me. I'm not used to partying in the city, so um, got to obey by their, their load in rules. But headed up there now, guys. Catch up to you in a minute. Alright guys, fast forward a couple hours. We have made it to the high five. We are unloaded into the building on the fifth floor. Uh, load in here is um, load in's actually really easy. Parking is horrible because we're downtown Grand Rapids. So I'll show you where my truck's parked in a minute. Uh, it was a little challenging getting the truck backed up and moving through a parking lot that's full of cars because it's a Friday. This building is usually empty on Saturday so that parking lot's vacant but there's lots of offices in this building as well. So people parked but yeah we just took this pretty wild freight elevator up i don't know if you guys can see up there but it's uh pretty wild so this place used to be a cadillac dealership way back in the day so they literally used to haul cars on this freight elevator but i'm gonna take you guys around show you what we're working with today and uh get everything set up so hang tight all right so we're over here in our spot now i'll show you where i parked here in a second so I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you guys just exactly what stuff's looking like. So here's reception. Ceremony's on the fourth floor, which is right below us. Head table's here. This area is gonna be dance floor. And then I'm set up right here, kind of corner of the dance floor. Photo booth's gonna be over here. And then bar's right here. So I'm liking the fact that bar and me are so close. But let me show you guys outside here. There's me, way down there. I had to load in over here. So, a little challenging. Obviously my parking job's not great, but we'll make it work. Right, guys and that's it <clears throat> set up with the two Asteras I do have some new stands that I want to show you guys hopefully I'll be able to set them up tomorrow I just don't know if there's a great spot for them today but that's what we're working with got a stair program there this will also be controlling the touch mix which is down there got the 14 inch MacBook <clears throat> um, probably won't be using the IEM or anything tonight but got all my paperwork here, 
So if you guys have never seen this before, I type all this stuff up and then, but I use Vibo for all of my info. So if you guys aren't using Vibo, awesome tool. You should definitely check it out. So I think I'm gonna run downstairs and set up ceremony sound really quick because right behind me is where I'm gonna be on photo booth. And as of right now, it looks like the bride's over there taking some pictures. So I obviously don't wanna go over there and set up photo booth right now. So I'm gonna run downstairs, do that. And uh, then all I gotta do is change. So we're making good time. So let's go. All right, so we gotta go down these creepy ass stairs. Boom, fourth floor. All right. Oh, man. All right, guys, so here's where we are for ceremony. Got the new ceremony rack here. Ceremony is going to happen right over there. It's definitely a pretty cool area here. All right, guys, this is it. So ceremony set up super quick and easy. I got to run upstairs and grab the Rode mic. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm using the DJI mic today, so I got to run up and grab that. But yeah, guys, ceremony is going to be over there somewhere. All sorts of fuzzy. All right, guys, so photo booths all set up, ready to rock. Only downside is you can see that center post. It's kind of driving me nuts, but all set up, looking good. Got my tables caped down. I was gonna do a time lapse of my setup of this because I realized I've never done that, but Bride was doing some first look with her dad over here, so didn't want to disrupt that. Welcome to the wedding celebration of Tegan and Matt. So my cue for you guys for the rest of the night is if you see me raise this clipboard, you gotta get real loud, okay? So let's try that one more time. Welcome to the wedding celebration of Tegan and Matt. Perfect, perfect. My name is Logan and I will be your entertainer this evening. It's my honor to introduce our newlyweds. The brand new Mr. and Mrs. Matt and Tegan Moran.
All right, guys, a little cell phone check-in. We're home. It's late. It's 1 a.m. I gotta get up at like 7.30, 8 o'clock at the latest, be on the road by 9, have a three-hour drive if traffic isn't shitty, and uh, wedding number two for the weekend. So headed to bed. Good night. This wedding was a banger. Um, just... Yeah, super good, super good wedding. Tons of fun. Uh, you'll see from the clips, you yeah, probably already watched them at this point, but yeah, solid, solid, solid wedding. Uh, all right, guys, good night. See you in the morning. All right, guys, cell phone footage you're getting this morning. Just finished loading up the trailer. Well, by loading, I mean unplugging the Asteras and my ceremony speaker. So when I got home last night, I charged those. So this is the not so lavish part of being a wedding DJ because it's 8.30 and I gotta get my butt on the road. Well, by 8.30 I need to get on the road. So I got about 15, 20 minutes, but yeah, three hour drive. Take you guys along with the with me on the trip. Sunday, we gotta get back to Kalamazoo because we have a photo booth event here locally at 2 p.m. So yeah, that's gonna suck too, but it's for a good cause. It's for a friend of mine. Uh, his wife has breast cancer, so doing a fundraiser for her. So we're, uh, yeah, gonna bring out the photo booth and get some pics of some people. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you this not so lavish part of being a wedding DJ when you're busy as heck. So uh, see you in Port Huron. All right, guys, welcome to day two. We finally made it. So we're in Port Huron now. Ceremony already happened. Uh, my drive took me a heck of a lot longer than it was supposed to. So we actually got here not late, but uh, let's just say I had to rush a little bit, but uh, setup's all set up here. Let me show you around the room. Um, ceremony was actually about 30 minutes away at a, a Christmas tree farm, so we knocked that out, uh, and now we're set up for reception. So let me show you. So set up here. Got to turn the TV on still. Got these new Astera stands. So if you want some of these, I can hook you up with a friend of mine, Dimitri, and he'll sell you a set. So I'll leave a link to these in the description below. Nothing new here. Check this spot out though. It used to be an old bank. So super tall ceilings. You got the pink accents all over with the lighting. And then over here, it is photo booth. So I did pick up some props. Shout out to Red Max. Uh, they hooked me up with some props at the DJ Expo. But we got a vault door here that we're using for the photo booth backdrop. And then, check this out. So, literally, bank vault. Totally reminds me of some DJ Vault stuff here. Oh, there's a mirror. <laughs> it's pretty slick. My name is Logan, and I will be your entertainer this evening. 
But one more time, before I introduce our wedding party, can we get loud for our newlyweds? One, two, three! <laughs> Alright, let's bring them out. First up, we have our flower girls. Introduce our newlyweds. Make some noise for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Drew and Veronica Rubenbach! Let's recap. So two gigs, one weekend. I saved you guys the pain of watching through uh, the boring dance floor clips of that Saturday event. Uh, it was just a really big dance floor, and you know I was having a hard time getting people out there. Um, just a uh, not I guess not the best dancing crowd. Uh, people stayed till the end though, so they stayed all the way till 11. Uh, you know a lot of people were staying in the hotel there. I just think it wasn't a wasn't a ton of dancers in the building. Got lots of compliments, you know, on the music selection and that type of stuff, but uh, not a whole lot of dancing. Friday, however, that was a banger, man. Um, those guys danced three hours straight. Great time um, for a Friday wedding. Those are usually a little tougher, but these guys just got out there and were getting it. So that was a really good one. Um, waking up early and driving three and a half hours to Port Huron kind of sucked, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. I don't think I'll schedule myself like that again. If I've got a, uh, a long travel event, I don't think I will um, do doubles like that. Just as that's a makes for a really long day. I didn't get home till almost four o'clock in the morning. Had to get up and do a photo booth event on that Sunday, and I was just I was beat. But uh, back to the Saturday event. So driving across town or across the state, uh, ceremony was actually, I didn't get any clips of that, but ceremony was at a Christmas tree farm about 20, 25 minutes away from the reception. So I went there, did that super middle of nowhere. So the ceremony, the battery powered ceremony rig worked out great for that. Uh, hope you guys are liking that. Uh, it's pretty cool. You just roll it in, roll it out. Very easy. Big old off-road tires on it. So I was able to get out there into the woods for this Christmas tree farm wedding. Uh, no problem. Um, but yeah, man, uh, all said and done, you know, thanks again, everybody for getting me to 5,000 subs. I think I'm gonna do some sort of a watch party here, not a watch party, but like a, a live stream thing. I've never gone live on YouTube. So thinking about going live and, uh, you know, just celebrating with you guys for, uh, you know, just some appreciation of getting me up to that 5,000 subscriber mark. So if you think that'd be something you'd be interested in, I'd definitely be willing to set it up here in the next couple weeks. Do it on like a Tuesday night maybe or something. Uh, just go live and just chat with you guys. But, all right, as always, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, click that like button, and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Catch up to you in the next one. Peace.